Smackdown week one the first week of Smackdown and much like the Raw we got a lot to get going all three titles also need to be decided at Elimination Chamber they're all being decided in the same way three sets of tournaments kinda got six one-on-one -on -one matches to, to determine well over the next few weeks this all is by the way not all happening tonight ain't got enough time for that enough room. we have six one-on-one -on -one matches over the next few weeks and they will determine the combatants for the World Championship of Smackdown six winners Elimination Chamber at the end of the month uh, winner is World Champion we also have a eight-man normal knockout tournament finals be combated at Elimination Chamber for the Intercontinental title the Intercontinental title indeed it is and that's what this first match is by the way Big Show vs Ziggler is the first round of the Intercontinental Championship so there's that and it's also going to be a short tag team tournament really it's just two matches the winner of those two matches will go on at the pay-per-view to face each other and that's uh, that's everything this is the first week so let's uh, let's determine these first few these first few matches start building our way to Elimination Chamber in four weeks first match big show against Dolph Ziggler let's see what we got here in my notes Show and Ziggler are actually both the bottom seeds in this tournament got a Studded lineup, Cray Cray. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his I'm in this. Well, it's the big show. Do 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 do. I'm singing along, but I shouldn't. It'd be much more professional if I did not. Oh, hello, Cray Cray. We are you in this? I, I don't know, are you mean this? I don't know. But yes, I don't know what you mean by that Cray Cray, but you just sound Cray Cray. Yes, this is a first round match. These are the bottom seeds in the Intercontinental Tournament. It doesn't mean they can't win it. Just, uh, I guess luck fortune them, really, because technically these are the two worst men in it. And when the largest athlete in the world, with the greatest punch in the world, is an underdog, you know you got to start a lineup in this tournament. Who is each champion? There is no champion yet. We have no champions. All these matches over the next few weeks are determined by first champions. And approaching the ring so, there's just there's three sets of titles. There's two singles and one tag team for each show. So that's six belts in total. The matches over these first few weeks will all determine my first, my first lot of champions. Judah show, show up at the Elimination Chamber, all, all titles will be decided, we'll have six champions and it could be one of these two men Dolph Ziggler, heck of an athlete, fast, very fast very, very charismatic, people love him and that, that spurs him on and gives him the, uh, the extra motivation to go the extra mile and maybe to outlast the big show here. Maybe that will be his tactic. He's got to slow the giant down. He's got to use the fact that he's big to his advantage. He's got to wear him out. Take him down. Easy said and done though when you're against the largest athlete in the world. One punch from him could end it all. Who was last year? This is my first year doing this. So I have no idea. This is technically the... Uh, the new year thing is just kind of like, I don't know, I just don't put for the title. Big Show sure swats Dolph away. And Dolph goes straight in with some punches and Big Show's like, no, none of that. Dolph with drop kick. None of Dolph's offense so far is leaving a scratch on the Big Show as he plants him and breaks his back. And starts stomping on him. And seeing he's in this tournament might look all wrong right now. Because this is beginning to look like a, mix, a mismatch early. Big Show just... Destroying Dolph early on. Big slap. Drags him back into the center. This this looks like it could be a really one-sided contest. Big Joe stomps on him, but well, no, Dolph. Dolph is a 
spark waiting to happen. All he needs to do is pop on his feet and he could... There we go. Speaking of popping on, he's back on the feet to start some big show. May have taken this tall, but Dolph is on offense for now. Big knee in the Giants now for the first time. Dolph taking advantage to lay some fists in on the big show. Stamps on him. Punches him. Kicks him. It's faster than the big show. He's getting all these blows in before big show can fully recover. Another drop kick. He morphs through him somehow. Another drop kick. The big man is not going down easy. Dolph muscles the power to Irish whip him across the ropes. Big Show comes off dazed. Another drop kick missed by Dolph. These guys are just brawling, throwing kicks and punches at each other. Dolph realizes that he can't do much lifting, so he's going to do what he can without, including that guillotine of ropes choking the Big Show. Get less air to that big head of his, and when you can't breathe, you can't fight. But he muscles enough air to compose himself to get a big hit, but and now he's back on top. He rolls Dolph away from these ropes because we're going for a pin attempt here. No! Stomps on him! That big 500 pound frame crushing the chest of Dolph Ziggler. Boom! Now his big leg is two. Drilling him into the mat. That could be it. One! Two! But Dolph kicks out. Big Joe lifts him. Could be psyching out for a big punch. Oh! Big punch to the head but Dolph doesn't go down. Must not a catching flush. Dolph sent to the floor he's this is not pretty guys and I'm, I'm getting caught or flustered here I can this is getting rather ugly this big show just stomps stomps off down he gets to his feet I mean he can't muscle any offense because big show just right on top of him again on his shoulder drives him into the mat big show just might as well pin now I I don't think Dolph's got any fight left in at this point but uh Big Show's beginning to get a bit tired now. He's giving out so much pain to Dolph that it's beginning to take it out of him too. Gets Dolph to his feet. Just lift him up for a choke slam. That's got to be it. End this. It's, it's an end. There's, there's no... There. There's no point counting along. That was it. Dolph destroyed here tonight. Big Show making claims that he wants to be the Intercontinental Champion. And with an impressive performance like that, I don't think you can really argue. You got near count on that final cut, but then the choke slam crashing into the mat. No chance for Ziggler tonight. Who can stop the Big Show in this hunt for his intercontinental title? I don't think anyone can. Whoever came up with his seedings and put Big Show as the seventh seed of eight. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know why he was smoking because this, this is not true. He's tired from. He's tired from inflicting pain, honestly, but. Raising hands in victory. He moves on to the next one, the Intercontinental Championship. In the next couple of weeks, he'll find out his next opponent. But until then, we move on to our World Championship scene. As the winner of Wharton, Daniel Bryan will be the first member into the SmackDown Elimination Chamber. The Royal Chamber, already half complete of course, with Reigns, Cesaro and Bray Wyatt all winning their respective single matches. Again, the first champion of Raw. Orton. Orton is seeded low. Low on the expert panel. Hard to think why. This man is... Got it all really, he's got power, agility, speed, maybe he doesn't, maybe he's a jack of all trades but master of few, but Orton is the complete athlete. Maybe there's not a single skill that he's associated with a wrestler that he's 10 out of 10 out, out of, but he's certainly 8 in every tick box. And add to that he's got a vicious mean streak. If you awake the Viper, nobody, and I mean nobody, can stop this man. Be interesting to see how he does tonight against someone seated higher in the competition, Daniel Bryan. And if you're talking about 10 out of 10 on the tick board, this man gets it for his submissions, for his kicks, for his ability to take a man down and keep him on the floor. But he does lose the power game to Randy Orton. 
from Aberdeen, Washington. Weight 210 pounds. Oh, thank you, John. He does lose the power game to Randy Orton. And uh, we'll see how much that matters. It's the fact of can Brian's strengths overcome his overcome his opponent despite his short frame and the weight he gives up. And I would be not hesitant to say yes, yes, yes he can. <laughs> see what I did there. But yes, this man. Definitely one to look out for, there's a reason he's amongst the top seeds. Who do I think will be the WWE Champion tonight? Hmm. That's a good question. We do have a... Out of this match, if I was forced to pick a winner, as Daniel Bryan yes is into eternity, maybe it'll be the fans. Haha. <laughs> They're having a hell of a time here. As Daniel Bryan won't stop. Uh... We won't have a champion tonight. We won't have a champion for another like eight shows. But if I had to say who's going to win this match, I would actually back Orton, despite his low seeding. I think this man is. I think it's a tie, really. He's stronger than Brian, but Brian's better technically. And I'm going to say the experience of Orton will see him through. As that fan is taking a selfie. But straight away, Brian just ran out of the ring, stomps his hand. Oh, onto the, onto the floor there. That's... If you wanna if you wanna do some damage, you wanna chuck him outside the ring, and that padding gives very, very little protection, and might as well not be there. I can hear an ice cream truck outside. If I was not streaming, I'd be tempted to check it out and get an ice cream myself, but I know I'm to run anyway, back. Dude, it's Dean Ambrose's. It's Mr. Cray Cray Dean Ambrose. Hey, you, that can be his gimmick. It can be Mr. Cray Cray. It can be you. He's representing you. Oh, wait, you lost. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, working on that arm is Brian. He's relentless. Taking him down. Who will be the champion? Ooh, a champion. I'm, I'm being put on the spot here. Who will think will win? Well, if I look at the role, we've already got half the contenders, and I think out of Reigns, Cesaro, and Bray, it really depends what order they come in, but I think the favorite of those three so far is Cesaro. So Cesaro is my pick out of those three to win. And uh, yeah, it's too early to call the rest of the tournaments, really. The Usos for the tag team titles, though, they look impressive against, against the uh, pre-imminent performers. Dominated the match, so I think they're favorite for the tag team titles in a minute. As Randy Orton works on Brian's back, but Brian counters back to his feet. Forearm straight to uh, Randy Orton's head as Randy Orton pulls him back into a headlock. Randy Orton does like to slow the pace, while Daniel Bryan likes that fast pace until he works his opponent to the ground when then it's very slow. But while they're on the feet, Brian likes it fast, Orton likes it slow, and it's definitely slow so far as Randy Orton knees. Brian right in the head and then oh another one watch his face working on that uh working on that head of Brian another knee we're softening that head making sure that if he hits that RKO it would definitely put him away but Brian trips him up takes him down tries to stump but Randy Orton moves out the way Brian catches him though into another Irish whip but he pulls him back and then Randy Orton counters that into a belly to base suplex takes him down stomping and boom, another hit. A sharp blow straight to the face. Randy Orton is picked, picked his target, and he's going for it. Oh, speaking of dropping someone on his head, draping DDT right on his face, driven straight into the mat. That that could be it. RKO not even needed. Big DDT from Orton. I think that might be it. One, two. Oh, not even a two count. Right. Daniel Bryan is. Not giving up so easily. He might. It might take more than that, and maybe, maybe more than RKO if we didn't even get the one count. But right now, he knees him in the gut, drags him to the middle of the ring, goes for another DDT. Stamps on for good measure. Obviously, thinking that this DDT, like DDT before, would not win in the match. But Randy Orton is looking in control, as I predicted, may I say. But Daniel Bryan goes behind Big German Suplex, drops him right on the back of his head. Return the favor to Orton. Brian gets him up, takes down the leg, and here comes the kicks. The kicks of Brian. Trademark kicks right to the chest. Damn, they must sting. 
A fishing up kick to the head! Ow! Oh, I'd hate to take that. Rolls him over. One, two, could be, no. Only a two count. Those kicks doing the damage to Randy Orton, that's longer than, oh! Speaking of doing the damage to Randy Orton on top. Big punches to the head. Lufez Prez. Randy Orton stomps him, runs into the middle. He must be going for a pin or a submission or something, but no. Just keeping him sent to the ring where he knows where he is, where he knows he can't escape easy. More close to the face. He picks him up. Another DDT. Could this be enough to see Randy get the win? Boom, right in his head again. I feel, I feel that might be it. There's only so many of those a man can take. Three DDTs more than one, two, three. Yep, that is it. So she ropes. You two's just better come out, bro. Dude, look at the money from the two fairy man. <laughs> but yes, two, two draping arms and normal DDT. There's only so many head drops a man can take, and Daniel Bryan kicks out of that one. You see. And it's a must have some offense with a big head kick. Fans go nuts as they thought Brian might have won it there, but only just gets a two count and Randy Orton powers out. They had one more draping arm DDT. And uh, Randy Orton has the time to look around before going on top of Brian and getting that free count. Orton advances to Elimination Chamber, the first man from SmackDown to be in the world title picture. Put down as an underdog on paper, but this man could so, so easily be the first world champion of SmackDown. you have to tune in four weeks to find out. But, uh, can't dwell too much on that, because we've got so much going on here in these opening few weeks. Because we also need to decide tag the team champions as well. As we have the prime time players taking on the gate crashes. One of this will advance also to Elimination Chamber. And uh, here they come, the prime time players. The following tag team Two men worked their way up the ranks together. Started on the uh, old NXT. Were enemies, teamed, broke up, were enemies again, but now they're back on the same page. And the uh, fans are loving it. They love these fellas. Having a good laugh, having a good time. These guys are all about good time, having a good laugh. And uh, fans uh, really appreciate. Appreciate some guys, you know. Some guys are likeable personalities. But uh, their opponents, not so likeable. They get crashes for a reason. Party animals that like to ruin other parties, really. Make the entire world their world to party in. And their opponents first. Lights goes off as Adam Rose makes his way to the ring, leaving his entourage of minions behind today as he skips merrily to the win, only with Lollipop with him today. This is an interesting matchup. These uh, lights back on. Say the uh, prime time players, they've got nice bounce of uh, strength in Titus O'Neil and speed in Darren Young, uh, the two Fandango, this this Adam Rose's partner, and of course Adam Rose. They're more of a shot in between both. They're they're pretty even. They're both equally athletic as they are strong. And uh, we see if uh, basically I think these I think these all these athletes are pretty similar really. And it's just a matter of who gels the best. And his tag team we know how well the Prime Time players get on. They've been teaming for years, but we'll see the gate crashes in tag team action for the first time. As uh, Fandango's beautiful valet, Summer Ray, dances. Here he is, the man Fandango. Adam Rose will come and change the music. Fandango will come and dance to the music of his choice. These two men are looking for a good time at the expense of others, while the primetime players want to share share a few good times with a few good friends. So no secret with the fans be room for in this one. I bet the teeth are annoying. I hate I hate teeth. Teeth are not fun, Cray Cray. They're not. I mean, yeah, best of luck getting that tooth out. As a Fandango wishes for the best of luck winning this match with his partner.
One has to think, what would Summer raise? What's the role of Summer Ray playing this? Will she intervene herself? Will she, uh, or will she just stand by and uh, let her men do the work, or her man, should I say? And then you get the nod. Oh, crack teeth. That sounds awful. I've never had that, luckily. Fandango raises his arm like he just doesn't care. Okay, he's getting lazy with these dance moves now. When people ask him about it, he's just like, whatever, dude. I'd like to see you do better. Leaps over these ropes. So Ray has disappeared, and she's reappeared. And now she slides. Doing splits. These men go all out on their entrances, unlike their uh, opponents who just kind of leave their impression with purely their charisma. So, you know, these 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 two teams completely different. I say, as they uh, square off the battle, and Rose early sidewalk slam by Darren Young, wasting no time getting this man to the mat so he can start hitting the way on him. Pulls him back. Is this a reverse suplex? It is! Drive him down. Darren Young pulls him back in the middle. Do another sidewalk something. Doesn't seem interested in going in cover yet. Obviously, he doesn't think any of this is doing enough damage. It's just a slow, slow progress to an eventual win. Another third sidewalk slam. Oh. I think after this. You'd think he'd go for a cover soon, he's doing a decent amount of offense, but no! Another leg drop! Mixed up his offense with the back and the head, but Adam Rose has to rake the eyes in order to get free. And tags in Fandango to take a draw, and Fandango gets the better of Darren Young. Big kick! And towards his corner too, this guy, this... Not a well known for his tag team competition is Fandango until just now, but... Judging by the, his ring awareness driving him into his own corner, he knows what he's doing as he stomps away on Darren Young. He's taking control again. Oh, there's food and ability. God, that's even worse. I hate that because you can't do much about it unless you get a toothpick. You just gotta kind of just like attack it with your tongue and hope for the best. But now Darren Young is on top of Fandango too, and the Fandango also has to rake the eyes to get free, but Darren recovers for Fandango. It's a back suplex and Darian pulls Fandango into the middle of the ring. He rolls him over and goes for a submission hold driving the knee right into the back as he wrenches on the head. Not a comfortable position at all but he lets it go early. I think he's done enough to get the pin. One. Just a one. Lift him up and oh big gut buster. From Darren Young. That could be it. Yeah, he's got his leg hooked. One, two, four. Ooh, no. Fandango kicks out. Many men's fallen to uh, that gut bust of Darren Young, but not Fandango today. Suplex. But uh, Fandango's reeling here. Darren Young, him on his own, is taking pop. Boom. Big leg drop. The gate crashes. I, I don't believe one's seeing it. This one man is taking down these two men like they're nothing. Darren. Pulls him to the center of the ring, goes for suplex. Boom, big suplex. But Darren Young sees his offense isn't quite getting the victory yet, so he tights in. He tags in, not tights in. He tags in Titus O'Neill, but in in the process, Adam Rose has been tagged in by a dang big shot on Titus O'Neill. Takes down Darren Young. And see if this is enough to start me on the count deck. Russian leg sweep. Can Adam Rose follow up? Stump. Elbow. Clobbing. Whoa. Sends Tyus O'Neill crouching back down to the mat. Oh, big shot from Tyus O'Neill. He's not messing the belt, but he gets caught and need by Adam Rose. He tries to follow up. And uh, I don't know if uh, Darren Young should have tagged out because Tyus O'Neill isn't dealing as well as his partner did. But oh, maybe I'll speak too soon because big, big. Base base suplex by Tyus O'Neill. Pulls him up into his. Ooh. 
Sam Epso could punch him quite in the side of the head. Jeez, that looked painful. But Adam Rose is getting back to the ring and sees Darren Young's being tagged back in. And another belly to belly suplex. These men are. Oh, he's on the side here. What's he going for? Oh, his, his palms seem to get in the way there. He's going for something there. Miscommunication there, but seems like uh, these two are on page enough to uh, be taking down this newly formed team. Tommy drop a big boot. Oh, hitting you high and hitting you low at the same time, and that might be it for uh, this might be it for the gate crashes. Not crashing any party today. Anna Rose desperately runs over to Fandango to get a tag in. And Fandango gets in. Fandango, Irish whip. But small package by Tyus O'Neill. Adam Rose is recovering. One, two, and three. Oh, no. Small package. I thought that would have been free. Why Adam Rose couldn't make in make the save because he's so hurt on the outside. But uh, Fandango rakes the eyes. But uh, it doesn't matter because big... Big backbreaker, and that that might be his backbroken indeed. Fandango's down for the cover, but he's getting pulled out by Adam Rose. And here it is. Cla oh, clash with Titus. Then that might be it, unless Adam Rose makes a save. He's in to do so. Two makes a save. All men in the ring now as uh, Adam Rose is whipped. Ties into his own corner. Stumping away. And stumping away. D Crash is finally getting some offense here. Fandango looks like he wants to make the tag, and he does. But Tyson now escapes, tags in Darren Young. He's been having a fantastic evening. He's going to follow up by. Oh, no, he lost out in the grappling battle there to Adam Rose. Big netbreaker. Jumping elbow. And Rose on the side, what's he looking for here? Whoa. Big splash but missed! Then rolls out the ways. Oh, he's got gun in the same submission again. Fernando doesn't feel confident he's gonna let go this time, breaks it up. And just catches his own part of the stump there. I don't know what that was. But uh, Adam Rose doesn't seem to think too much of it. These two teams are showing a, showing a few flaws, but. Uh, not fed in prime time play as much as Gutbuster again, this time to Adam Rose. Down. Fandango looks like he's going to have to make the save. He does. Easily. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Float over. DET. Adam Rose's head. His whole body must be hurting as the prime time players have really taken the gatecrafters down to here tonight. You feel like if they uh, don't. Don't hit any offensive blow soon. That uh, this match is all but lost at this point. Really, you've been to think they tag in and out, trying to trying to find a way out of this. But every time, boom! Big spine buster. As soon as Fandango gets in, Adam Rose on the outside trying to recover, but uh, Titus doesn't go for the cover there. As a forty might instead he tags in Darren Young. I thought they had the match won there, folks. But uh, Adam still working on. The That body. Now, big splash. Darren Young misses one, two. Neither team have been been successful with splashes so far. Fernando gets boom. Big spinning wheel kick. Fernando being the fire up here against Darren Young. Go for the cover. One, two. Whoa, first cover for the gate crashes. Have been anywhere near. This is the first time I thought there's a chance they might have won here. Fernando, the final dance. But he looks like he might have hurt his own arm there. But uh. He's got to find his way to his feet. He's got to find a way to capitalize on this. Gets to his feet and then collapses into the cover. One, two. Titus makes a save again for his partner. And suddenly, Prime Times player's lack of ability to finish this match off might look like it might cost him. As Fandango is going to build some momentum on the man that's been dominating most of this match, Darren Young. Goes for the cover again and ties Neil again for the third time. Has to break it up. He's in the middle of the ring. Body slam from Fandango. But he tries to follow the stomp, but Darren escapes, makes a tag to Titus. Fandango looks like he's ready for him. 
Yep, he grabs him, drags him into the center. Scoop and a slam to Titus too. Pulls up Titus. This match is going on, on forever. Oh, it's out. The tooth is out, everybody. Cray Cray, his tooth is gone. Breaking news. We'll get more. How much would he get for said tooth? We'll find out soon. Going for the cover. One, two, three. Adam Rose fails to make it. The ref was in his way. Bit of a controversial ending there, really. So we, we, we'll get another look in a second as we look back on the offense that happened in this match. But I believe the ref blocked... Adam Rose, his positioning was pretty poor, really. So Adam Rose was... The ref was perfectly in the way, really, of Adam Rose. He couldn't break the cover because of it. Small package, I thought this might have been it here. One, two, three... Oh, but Adam Rose on the corner of covering, so he wouldn't have been able to break it. But Divorce caught by Titus. Goes to the cover, one, and look at the corner of the screen. Adam Rose gets stuck behind the ref with just, just enough. Just enough for uh, the primetime players to win here and uh, impressive showing in the first half second half looks shaky it looks like they might, have, they might have lost their chance to win this but no they pulled it off Prime time players looking impressive especially early on indeed and uh, they move on tag team titles could be in their arms come the end of the elimination chamber in a few weeks who will they face you'll find out next week as two more teams will try their hand at uh, becoming the first tag team champions of SmackDown, but nice to see, uh... nice to see the uh, the nice guys win. I'd say they're the nice guys in that match, but uh, two uh, two mean guys in this match. Two two guys that they're all about all about some hard kicks and hard boots and hard punches. And uh, Kevin Nash definitely comes under the hard punches. At seven feet tall, it's hard to think of the man we saw the big show earlier tonight. How same height, how he demolished Dolph Ziggler. Kevin Nash is lighter than the big show, so he can move more. I don't know if that means he'll, he'll probably have less behind his strikes. But he'll be more agile, so maybe that's the reason he is confident more so than the Big Show. He can win the world title because Big Show was ranked bottom of the Intercontinental lineup, and in this match, the ranking for Nash. Oh wait, <laughs> the ranking for Nash is seed. He's the top seed in this. The bottom two seeds squared off in the f in the match earlier tonight, and in this match we've got the top two seeds in Nash and Booker T. That's just how the, the uh, that's just how the uh, draw work panned out. Oh, Cray Cray now cannot have cake. We do know who might have cake. Booker T. If he wins this Intercontinental Champion five time, five time, five time, five time, five time, WCW Champion Booker T. Making his way down to the ring, looking to. Maybe start his path to become a five time, five time, five time, five time, five time intercontinental champion. This man known for his kicking offense, really. Scissor kick, super kick. Big half crescent kick. Houston hangover. Booker T is really the, the first man to really master. Master his own legs as a weapon. Turn his legs into a weapon. I don't think anyone really had as much success as he did with offense purely, almost purely in fact, with the bottom half of his body, so we'll be able to apply some more of the height and power of Kevin Nash, we'll see. We'll see indeed. Right, Nash, book T. One man, oh. Is the Big Show in this tournament? So Big Show could potentially get the winner of this match, this ma uh, this match next round. But the next round will be also drawn at random. So these two, could, so the winner of this could get either Big Show next round, or maybe even Big Show in the final, or maybe not at all. But uh, when the draw is made for the following round, we'll let you know. Nash with the go behind. 
after taking out his leg and he drops reverse DDT on the Booker no, punches punches side of the head yeah I would have done the same like you just can't help but if, if you've got a bad tooth there you just poke it until it comes out like I yeah I would have done the same definitely divorce court oh Nash caught his throat on the ropes there that, that is dangerous that is that could have it's no wonder Nash isn't back to his feet yeah that could that could do some serious damage to your throat and this is the opening book as much as you don't see it the Booker T might have wanted here Nash still unable to get to his feet but he is now under Booker T's offense he still hasn't escaped but now he has he trips up Booker T and starts going down to work going to work on him kick to the gut if I was kicked in the midsection, he would have been disqualified. The referee is not waving this match over, so I guess that's to the gut. I shot by Booker, and the big man is down. Big elbow to the back of his head. Booker T kicking away. There's those feet that I was talking about earlier. But a uh, bit of power in his game too, is he? Lifts the big man up for a gut buster. But yes, continues, continues to stomps in between. Going back to his bread and butter. He turned his life around and became a double. Nash back in the corner. Book turns him to face him. But uh, allows Nash to counter and boot stretching. Stretching Book. Being driven right into his face. Nash showing his own feet offense. Then a big slam. Landing uh, up and back, maybe head first, then also a stomp to the gut for good measure. Boom! Big punch by Nash! Jeez! The way Bookfield did not look good. That could have been a KO right there. That might be over. One, two, and no. No, uh, Booker, Booker recovers. And I don't know where Nash is going. Nash is... I don't know where he's going. I don't think he can believe uh, Booker kicked out. But uh, big suplex. Booker T managed to recover in the time it took Nash to uh, really to recover from Booker kicking out, really. As big spine buster by Book. Book is rolling now. Nash might regret that roll out the ring. One, two, three. Oh, no. No, Nash kicked out. It wasn't a free. Very close, though. The Nash back to his feet. Catches Book with a hand. Book counters and catches him with a foot. And the book end. The book end, he hits it. That could be it. That should be it. The book end could be the end of this chapter. Two, three. Book at the end and knocks out the top seed. Nash. And that he looked and impressive performance. He managed to recover from that punch. And I don't think Nash really recovered from that punch. Two. Because he rolled out the ring as soon as Brook kicked out. I think in disbelief. He just needed to collect his force for a split second. And it was only a split second, but that's all Booker needed. As he hit a spine buster and then later bookend for the win. And uh, impressive, impressive win for uh Booker T here. And uh, yeah, he advances along with the big show. He's going to offer his hand to Nash, and oh, Nash says no. Nash uh, obviously believes that if uh, if he was in the right state of mind, he would have easily defeated Booker T. That way, he just doesn't like the guy. Either way, no respect given tonight from Nash. We're not here to make friends. We're here to we're here to be champions, everybody. And why you don't like to see it, I can completely understand Nash's mindset. Oh, what a match, but uh, I hope you got some something left in your fans because I got a heck of a main event, including John Cena versus Alberto Del Rio. Many have tipped Cena to win this tournament, to uh, win the belt, and uh, just to give you a demonstration what the prize everybody's fighting for is, Cena's coming out with the belt. This is the belt everyone's fighting for, presented to Cena by the general manager. He's not the champion, everybody. He's just merely walking out of it, showing what the combatants would be fighting for. Boots. That is the WWE Undisputed Championship. I made that. But yep, Cena on his way down to the ring. This is the title that we're fighting for in a few weeks. 
and uh, Cena hopes to be holding on to that and he hopes to raise this title not as not as not promotionally not not to promote a match but he hopes to raise this because he is the true champion but look how much this belt means to him he can't take his eyes off it but now he is to raise it high this is the grandest prize on the SmackDown roster and that is what they're going to be fighting for the Elimination Chamber but if Cena wants any hope any hope of keeping that for more than tonight he's going to have to beat Alberto Del Rio very very dangerous man in the ring we saw what he did to Punk he cost Punk his chance to win the Raw's version of that title by interfering in his match I don't know what he has against Punk but he obviously he obviously has some sort of issue. I don't know how he got into the raw building, in fact, being a SmackDown superstar. But uh, this man, Alberto Del Rio, very dangerous. An impressive amateur, also was in some mixed martial arts. He has an extensive background in mixed martial arts. Even in some deadly, deadly submission arts, including his cross arm breaker, which... His name doesn't lie. It can break your arm. It's as simple as that, as well as a master of kicks. If this man kicks you in the head, you'll be lucky to ever, ever stand in the next 24 hours, shall I say. But a uh, dangerous man, and he's good. And uh, the most dangerous fight of all is he, he knows he's good. But uh, Cena, Cena as we know, no slouch either. Multi-time champion. Seems to, whenever we think he's beat or given his last, his last bit of energy, he digs deeper. He always finds something to win. He might have to do that against Del Rio tonight, and if he doesn't tonight, he would certainly have to if he makes it to Elimination Chamber. So, confirmation earlier tonight, Orton beat Daniel Bryan. So, he's the first man in the SmackDown Chamber. Cray Cray is getting his cake. That was also revealed earlier tonight. Struggling for control. The primetime players are soon to be getting a tag team title shot. And the Big Show and Booker T are through to the second round of the Intercontinental Ooh, excuse me, the Intercontinental Title Championship. And Del Rio going straight for the arm. He likes to do that. As I was speaking about earlier, he likes going for the arm bar to get the victories. But John Cena... Ooh, just likes hitting power moves like that. Throwing him over his... Oh, and then drives ahead. Throwing him overhead and then driving his arm into his head. Del Rio's got the whereabouts to roll out the way and catch Cena into a belly-to-belly. -belly. And now Del Rio on offense. Gets his leg caught in Cena's arm. Cena, Cena always looking for a way to get back on top. He... Maybe this is the definition of Grizzle Veteran, John Cena. He knows everything by now, he knows the counter to everything. I'd like to see if this armbar gets in, if Cena can find a way out of it, because not many stars have. Big kick. This match is going back and forth, big blow to Cena, but Cena recovers. I should whip. Dario comes back, a big arm drag by Cena, taking the man down. Cena takes him to the middle of the ring. Starts, starts driving. Let's throw into that head of Del Rio again. Del Rio's. He knows he can't take that too much longer, so he managed to fight back long enough to get to his feet, but that's it. The scene is still back at the top again. Elbow, forearm, right to the head. Big punches. Del Rio counts with a hand of his own. Del Rio whips Cena across the ropes. Two to a backbreaker, dangerous move. Once again, that doesn't lie either, that can break your back. And now Del Rio going for a different hold. Not so much focus on the arm, but trapping the arms again. Lock the face and he's really wrenching back. Wearing down seeing that, yes. More so wearing down and trying to get the submission. But there's uh, Cena, big, big face buster. That could be, that could be enough to have seen on offense the rest of the match, really. Again, Cena, he knows what he wants to do. He wants to soften up that head. Maybe he's going, looking for his patent STF. Now Cena's going out the ring. It looks like Nash, but that cost Nash. 
Costing John Cena a bit, but no, a kick to the side leg, he made to recover, hopefully. Oh, gets the half net breaker. Half, half, ooh, half full Nelson into a net breaker, but Dario pops straight to his big turn, that big fine spirit, two clotheslines. Cena, cross the ropes, till the world arm breaks, and again, not sorry, back breaker. Dario's master of breaking things. And uh, hasn't broken Cena's will yet. Tries to go for a blow, but Cena whereabouts enough to dodge. And Del Rio, a quick flurry, might have. Oh! Big kick to the head of Cena. Del Rio drags him to the center, probably looking for the cover here. Could this be it? Could this be John Cena out? One, two. Kick out, though, by Cena. Del Rio on top now. And oh, cross arm breaker is in. We'll see the tap. We'll see the tap. Is is this it? He's, he's fighting it. He's fighting it. He's trying. He's, he's, I don't think he's given up. Oh, Del Rio releases it. Might be a mistake. As Del Rio straight into the corner and oh, arm first into the ring post and seen it back on top. Ever since he let go of the arm bar. And then STF, submission of his own. But straight, straight, he was in the ropes. It's not the wisest position to lock that hold in. And much like, much like Cena, Del Rio is back on top as soon as that submission hold let go. And Del Rio is straight back onto the arm. Oh, snapping the arm back. The arm is not meant to bend that way on its own like that, not the bottom half. And Cena, oh, third till the world backbreaker. I don't know how many times you can get up from a broken back, but we're going, oh, I don't think a fourth. I don't think a fourth. There's only so many times a man can break you and you still get back up. I think, I think this might be it, everybody. Del Rio goes to the corner, but Cena's already back to his feet. He's going to go for that pan and kick to the head, but uh, Cena's already back to his, oh, Cena's already recovering. Knee by Cena. But, uh, Cena's in the ropes now, and big Enziguri again! Cena's down. Del Rio's down to one knee. And uh, collapses into the cover. I think this might be it. What? No, but oh. I think, I think, I'm, I think that was a rope break. I, I don't see how, how Cena would have kicked out of that quick if it wasn't a rope break. Del Rio, Irish whip, and oh, into an armbar. Didn't see that coming. Neither did Cena. That's why probably why it was so effective. And, it's a lot of offense on the arm. Cover two and oh, Cena catches it, kicks out. This match is it's quite a long one, folks. This, these two men are desperate, desperate to become the world first, first world champion. Big, big shot to uh, Cena's arm from Del Rio. Oh, and again he he knows what body part he wants to take out. One. Two kicks out. If he takes out the arm, it's it's harder to not only fight with the arm but to kick out as well. Because kicking out is mostly done with the shoulder. But counter from suplex, net breaker from Cena. Cena back on offense. Can he get back into this match? Drags Del Rio to the corner, and boom! Natural selection. Learn from his best friend, a talent we don't have in our roster, so I'm not going to mention their name. Cena gets Del Rio up, Del Rio counters, knees, sorry, elbows to Cena's face, but that is only enraged Cena, jumps on it, pounces on it, blows to the face. I don't think Del Rio knew what hit him there, it happened all so fast. And Cena really taking it to him now. The arm seems like there's no doubt to it at all now. Two, three, oh, no, kick out. When adrenaline gets pumping, pain, pain seems to fade. And that seems to be the result. Boom! As he's still got enough strength in it to drive it into Del Rio's face. But Del Rio trips up Cena. Finally gets a break from the beating that Cena was leasing on him. And oh, what's this? Arms are stretched. He's waiting. This probably is his second cross arm breaker attempt. He's rolling it. It's in! Sends of the ring as well. I don't know if Cena can get out of this. So much is done. He taps! Cena taps! What an upset! I can't believe what I saw here, folks. Del Rio, he's a superb athlete and everything, but this is John Cena talking about here. One of the greatest champions ever. Taken out. One, two. Kick out there, but 
I don't know why I'm counting long. I guess I'm doing it out of habit now, but wow. Cannot believe what I saw everybody. Cena beaten. As probably this Del Rio. He attacks Punk. And now a few days later it makes John Cena tap out. Wow everybody. Del Rio offers his hand and Cena shakes it. Cena's greater in defeat as ever in Del Rio. Del Rio raises his arms and well. That's what happens here folks. Cena was Cena was seen as a favorite. That's why he was walking out of the belt tonight. But uh a defeat, a defeat for John Cena and uh looks like Looks like it's gonna be a while until Cena's gonna be wearing that belt back around his waist. And it can only be a matter of time until it's round Del Rio's. Alright. Thanks for watching. Confirm everybody. The winners tonight, Orton and Del Rio, are in the Elimination Chamber, set to be joined by four others. Four others will be determined in, uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, so yeah, that was that match and this match, Orton and uh, Del Rio. Big Show and Booker T. Both through to the second round of the Intercontinental title. Hunt. Who their next opponents will be in the semi-finals will be determined in two weeks from now after the next two are through. And one half of the tag team title main event. Primetime players being the gate crashes. In a in a long in a long brutal match really. I don't think some of the men in that match will come out the same, but thanks for joining us, everybody. I've got to wrap it up here. I uh, hope to see you for the next show. See ya. But yeah, I'm going to end the stream now. That'll cut out this bit. Thanks again. Sorry I've been...